We don't have time for another round of question and answers, so we're going to move to member statement. And I recognize a member from Brampton North. Thank you. Thank you, Speaker. Uh, colleagues, the traffic in Brampton is out of control. Our population has doubled in the last 20 years. Our transit, road, and highway infrastructure has not. Highways are a provincial responsibility, and Brampton residents had to watch as the previous Liberal government studied, delayed, and ultimately cancelled Brampton's bypass highway, the Highway 413. When our party made the 413 a key platform item in the 2022 election, Brampton responded in a huge way, sending me and my four PC Brampton colleagues to Queen's Park as part of the majority government. The message was clear. Build the highway. Get it done. Get it done. Apparently, the federal Liberal Environment Minister wasn't listening, and his government wasn't listening, because they have stepped in and declared a federal impact assessment. This is massive government overreach for one purpose, to kill the Highway 413. Colleagues, the federal impact assessment is the same study required for a nuclear power plant. The federal government has never declared one for a new provincial highway before the 413. That means highways like the 401, the 412, 404 and 418 never had to undergo this impact assessment. And yet, when Brampton wants a new highway, we hear all the excuses come out. Speaker, I am and my residents are so tired of excuses. I have one message to the federal Liberal Environment Minister. Get on board with the Highway 413 or get out of our way. Next member statement, member for Umber River Black Creek. Okay. Right. Umber River Black Creek, sorry you didn't hear over the noise. Thank you, Speaker. I'm proud to rise today on International World Volunteer Day, a day to celebrate the important role that volunteers play in our communities across the globe. According to Volunteer Canada, over 12 million Canadians generously contribute their efforts to numerous causes annually. Here in Ontario, their contributions have shaped our province through their compassion, community and spirit of giving back. Their impact is immeasurable. My community is blessed with countless volunteers and community organizations who give so generously to improve the lives of others, and I thank them all. Today, I am proud to be joined by two amazing community volunteers, Bridget Contento and Michael Varelli, who lead the Humberley Community Group and do so much to build a happier, healthier, and safer community. They organize food drives and bring food to our most vulnerable. They've created an outdoor skating rink and set up an outdoor library in their park. They host year-round events for our children, like their annual Santa Claus parade, spooky Halloween get-togethers, Easter egg hunts, and more. And when they're not busy hosting their own events, they're attending and helping in others, and are members of various committees, like the 31 Division Community Police Liaison Committee. Bridget and Mike, thank you so much for making our community better every day. We are all lucky to have you. And thank you to all volunteers everywhere. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, thank you very much. Member statements. The member for Markham Unionville. Mr. Speaker, recently I proudly welcomed the remarkable Dragon Boats Team Canada to the House together with the Premier and my colleagues. This summer, the team won gold at 16th annual World Dragon Boat Racing Championship in Pattaya, Thailand. This victory served as a source of pride for our country. It is also a testament to resilience and talent embodied by the team. Meeting these gift athletes was not only a privilege, it was also an opportunity to acknowledge their unwavering dedication and skill, and to recognize the honor that they have brought to Canada on the global stage. Beyond individual achievements, the visit highlighted the collective spirit and un unity that the sportsmanship fosters, emphasizing the significance of af athletics in building a sense of community and national identity. The team's triumph in Thailand exemplifies the pinnacles of the training and teamwork, reflecting the values of perseverance and excellence. Speaker. It is crucial that we collectively recognize and emphasize the importance of supporting and celebrating achievement in the sporting arena. By doing so, 
we not only honor the athletes themselves, but also inspire future generations to pursue excellence and contribute the vibrant tapestry of Ontario's sporting legacy. Thank you. And thank you very much. Member Statements, the member for London West. Uh, thank you, Speaker. Speaker, the holidays can be a difficult time, and this year more Londoners than ever are struggling. At the same time, more Londoners than ever are also showing up to help, and I want to recognize just a few. First, the staff and volunteers at Northwest London Resource Centre who stepped up in a big way to meet the need, expanding food bank services in my riding from two days a week to six in partnership with the London Food Bank. Next, Fran and Mary, residents of 30 Baseline Road in London West and organizers of their building's caring cupboard. When the cupboard was put out of commission by a fire last month, they collected grocery store gift cards for the seniors from their building who relied on emergency food supplies. Thankfully, their cupboard will reopen for food donations again this week. Special appreciation to the hundreds of volunteers at churches around the city who cook and serve community meals for people and families who are struggling, often including musical entertainment, as at St. John the Divine Parish in London West. And finally, much gratitude to the 700 local businesses and nonprofits that are part of the annual Business Cares Food Drive and the many, many Londoners who contribute so generously in ways big and small. Thank you to all. And to all residents in London West and to everyone in this chamber, I wish you a safe and happy holiday season, however you celebrate. Thank you. Thank you very much. Member Statements. The member for Sault Ste. Marie. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, and uh, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Today, I want to congratulate a local Sault Ste. Marie business on their 20th anniversary. Lop Lop's Gallery and Lounge is a fixture of downtown Sault Ste. Marie and our local music scene. Owners Stephen Alexander and Jennifer Belrose uh, have seen ups and downs during uh, the last several years with our economy, especially the last few years uh, when COVID was happening. Uh, over the last 20 years, uh, they've really been able to see a bit of it all, uh, but they've remained strong through adapting their business model with the changing of the times. It's great to see the fun holiday-themed event, the 12 Musicians of Christmas, is back after a five-year hiatus, and I just want to offer my congratulations to both uh, Steve and Jen on the very uh, many great memories uh, that we've had at Lop, Lop, Lop Lops over the years and uh, I'm looking forward to another 20 years ahead. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Member Statements. The member for Hamilton West, and Castor Dundas. Unfortunately, Speaker, more Ontarians than ever before are turning to hunger relief organizations because they can no longer afford basic necessities like food and shelter. Hunger in Hamilton is reaching record levels, with the number of people turning to food banks nearly doubling since last year. Almost 50 per cent of households say they would become homeless without food banks. People, including families with young children and seniors, cannot keep up with soaring food prices unaffordable costs. It's heartbreaking that in our communities, hungry senior, seniors are seeking help to find meal programs because they can no longer afford to feed themselves. Thus, last weekend, I participated in the Salvation Army Kettlebell Drive, and I was moved by the generosity and compassion of Hamiltonians. Uh, there are also many ways you, too, can give back this holiday season. Ancaster Community Services Holiday Assistance Program will provide over 150 holiday hampers and gifts to income-challenged families and seniors in the community. Good Shepherd Christmas Wonderland is bringing people together to share a festive meal. Neighbor to Neighbor, who has been serving our communities for over 35 years through their community food centre, will be providing a free Christmas meal that is open to all. And we could consider uh, a donating to free, support free and low-cost programs for vulnerable seniors through Dundas Community Service. So I want to send out my thanks to all of these organizations and volunteers who are bringing joy to people in our communities who are hungry and alone. And this holiday season, I want to express my warmest wishes to you and your family for a joyous and healthy holiday season. Thank you. Thank you very much. Member Statements. The member for Halliburton, Fortha Lakes, Prague. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. 
As Christmas approaches bringing snow and good tidings, I'll share with you news about fun in my riding. From Sunderland to Halliburton and all places between, there's good times to be had and good friends to be seen. People lining the streets to spread Christmas cheer, hearing carols and laughter when Santa gets near. There's good food and good drinks and, of course, the reindeer. None of this would happen without volunteers. Kids waiting for Santa, along the parade route they stood, smiling and laughing and telling him they've been good. All the local craft shows bring the people flocking. With goodies aplenty, you'll sure fill your stocking. As we continue to celebrate this holiday season, let us always remember that Christ is the reason. Through the cold winter nights, let compassion exceed. Say hello to a stranger and help those in need. With my speech almost over and my time almost out, come to HKLB and see what it's all about. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you very much. <laughs> member statements. The member for Don Valley North. Thank you, Speaker. From 2015 National Youth Survey, the agency found that Canadian youths are less interested in politics, and they feel less strongly that voting will make a difference. Speaker, the voter turnout among youth in 2011 was over 35 percent lower than that of individuals aged 65 to 74, while research shows that political part participation affects youth development. Speaker, the high school model parliament, parliament program presents an idea opportunity for students to gain hands-on experience as MPPs, fostering an understanding of parliamentary process and the significance of the democratic system. Speaker, several students attending debate classes in my riding of Down Valley North have applied and been chosen to take part in this fantastic program. I look forward with anticipation to seeing them in the chamber, engaging in meaningful discussions on various issues. Speaker, this initiative serves a great means to engage and involve the youth. Today, they take every opportunity to learn and experience, and tomorrow, they will emerge as leaders. Congratulations to all selected participants, and we eagerly anticipate hearing the perspective of our youth. Thank you. Thanks again. Thank you. The next statement, the member for Flamborough-Glanbrook. Thank you and good morning, Mr. Speaker. Today I'm rising to highlight a recent investment that our government has made to combat auto theft in Ontario, and specifically in my region of Hamilton. Mr. Speaker, every 14 minutes a vehicle is stolen in Ontario. In the last year alone, there was a 14 per cent increase in auto thefts right across Ontario. This investment of over $895,000 over three years will ensure that our Hamilton Police Service has the tools and the resources that they need to fight car theft and to keep our community safe. When the investment was shared, Hamilton Police Chief Frank Bergen said, we thank the provincial government for funds received from this grant, which will be used to combat auto theft through increased staffing, two new investigators and an analyst. We will also be working closely with our policing partners to sh share strategic intelligence involving organized crime groups that impact our city. Mr. Speaker, this funding to the Hamilton Police Service is part of the government's new Preventing Auto Thefts Grant program designed to support new and enhanced crime-fighting measures that focus on prevention, detection, analysis, and enforcement. This Preventing Auto Thefts Grant is just one of several measures enacted by our government to fight auto theft. Earlier this year, Ontario also announced the organized crime towing and auto theft team to help police services identify, disrupt, and dismantle organized crime networks. Mr. Speaker, with the crime of auto theft growing across Ontario, I'm proud that our government is tackling the issue head on. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Member statements. The member for Peterborough Kawartha. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As we approach Christmas, I think back to all of the people that I know who've tried to make life better in some way for others. And there's a truly kind-hearted lady in my riding who freely gives her time to make a positive difference for so many. I'm talking about Pam Dickey from Trent Lakes. She lives just outside of Buckhorn and has been volunteering for community care for a number of years. During the pandemic, not only did she help out by delivering groceries to some vulnerable seniors, but she also took to the phones to do wellness checks, just to make sure people who couldn't get out still had a friendly voice to talk to on a regular basis. For the last year or so, she's also been volunteering with Community Care's Meals on Wheels. Speaker, this Christmas, Pam has taken it upon herself to make sure that 20 seniors who lost their spouses will still have a homemade Christmas dinner. In her very own kitchen, she's cooking enough turkey, mashed potatoes, vegetables, cranberries, gravy, and all of the other fixings to make a traditional Christmas dinner. And then she'll personally deliver all of those dinners to 20 very lucky single seniors. Pam, thank you for what you do. You exemplify the true meaning of what Christmas is. Here, here. Thank you very much. That concludes our member statements for this morning. Next, we'll